Hey viewers, thanks for being there. I am Mahmoud Inor. On the news, and Hyperdeck Commission's Anti-Corruption and Transparency Unit. Adewa Youth Forum condemns federal government move to relocate key departments of CBN Federal Airport Authority to Lagos. And NIPR Canal Chapter Lord Governor Abba Yusuf for setting up Elders Consultative Forum. Stay tuned for details. Ariwariuch <music> Consultative Forum AYCF has condemned recent moves by the government to relocate key departments of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria, saying that it will undermine, jeopardize, and erode national unity. They explain that the relocations pose a significant threat to Abuja's status as the federal capital city and could have negative implications for the nations as a whole. AYCF President General Yorima Shatima in a statement raised concerns about the potential consequences that could rise from the relocations if carried out, pointing out the move risk undermining national unity, disrupting operations, causing economic setbacks, and perpetuating regional imbalances. Shatima observed that Abuja was deliberately choosing as the capital to promote national unity and decentralized power. Any agenda that seeks to tamper with this arrangement will be fiercely resisted by AYCF and its supporters. Yar Yarima Shatimo, however, expressed disappointment with the complicit silence of the Northern Elite regarding these provocations. He said Northern Elite must not be silent when the political and economic viability of northern Nigeria is at stake and well-meaning Nigerians should speak out against this emerging arbitrariness. The AYC have had called on the relevant authorities to reconsider these proposed relocations in light of the potential harm they may cause to Abuja's status as the capital city and the nation as a whole. AYC have added that its members will remain committed to its mission of promoting unity and development in northern Nigeria and the nation as whole and vows to continue advocating for the preservation of Abuja status as the capital city and to resist any attempt to undermine national unity. The managing director of the National Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission in High Padek, Abubakar Sadiq Yelwa has expressed satisfaction towards the official commissioning of the Anti Corruption and Transparency Unit Office at the Dahiru Awesu Complex in Mina. Sadiq Yelwa expressed his delight at the inauguration of N High Padek ACTU ICPC office held at the Commission's headquarters, Mina, Niger State Capital. Fauzia Nasir has the details. The Managing Director, National Hydroelectric Power Producing Areas Development Commission, Abakar Sadiq Elwar explained that the actual was not set up to antagonize anybody that want to drill activities of the commission. Hearing that, the unit will also guide the management and staff of the commission towards ensuring that all the activities is in compliance with government regulations, both administratively and financially. Sadiq El Wadi, that the unit was established in July 2023 by the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission to serve as one of the implementation mechanisms for its mandate on prohibition and prevention of corruption, especially in the public service. The chairman, Act 2 and IPADEC, architect Yusuf Ibrahim, revealed that part of the responsibility of the unit is to carry out sensitization exercise across all the commissions. Directorate to ensure that there is improvement in work ethics and character among the staff, especially in, reg in regards to corruption tendencies. Also speaking at the event, the Director of Finance and Administration and IPADEC, Ajimo Aruna Gabi, noted that the Commission is committed to everything that will reposition the Commission's greatness, saying that the establishment of Act 2 will make it possible for all the activities happening in the Commission be monitored accordingly to make things easier for the Commission. 
in their separate remarks, the staff of NI Padek, Hola Yintong, Yetunde Beatrice, Accountant One, and Ibrahim Arun of Planning Research and Statistics said that the commissioning of actuary is all about the integrity of the commission and the state. Other than that, actuary is a body that ensures Things are in accordance in line with the federal government rules and regulations. My name is Fozia Nasser reporting for Lina TV 247. The Nigeria Customs Service said it has revamped its e-auction platform for transparent disposal of seized and overtime goods aligning with the new Customs Service Act. The upgraded platform was launched on Tuesday, 16th January 2024, according to a statement by custom spokesperson Abdullahi Maywada. Maywada said the upgraded website, which is a result of custom's commitment to continuous improvement, has seen positive results with details of bets, registered applicants, paid fees, and worn vehicles. He added that the strategic move, moves aligns with the guidelines outlined in the newly enacted Nigerian Custom Service Act 2023 showcasing the agency's dedication to efficiency and fairness. Customs spokesperson disclosed that since its relaunch, the platform has recorded impressive results, including 1,133 number of bids, 1,099 registered applicants, 652 successfully paid administration fee, 100 vehicles uploaded on the window and 86 vehicles Bided and won. Maywada said the NCS emphasizes that successful bidders should promptly download their winning certificates through the provided link in the confirmation mail. He stated that successful bidders are required to present the certificates where the goods are domiciled and the clearance process is expected to be done within seven days. Statement added that it is pertinent to note that the auctions are periodic and open every Tuesday from 12 noon to 6 p.m., providing the public with regular opportunities to select and bid for desired items. For comprehensive details and guidelines on the e-auction process, interested participants are encouraged to visit the NCW website at customs.gov.au. NG. My father maintained that any concerns of complaints can be directed to the NCS help desk at 0703789 operational from Mondays to Fridays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Kano State Chapter of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, NIPR, has commended Governor Abba Yusuf for setting up Elders Consultative Forum in the state. It noted that the move was pragmatic and strategic towards inclusive administration to ensure harmony within the state, believing that other states would borrow a leaf. While congratulating the governor over his electoral victory at the Supreme Court, the institute described the victory as the will of Almighty God. A statement signed by the chairman, Ali Yusuf, noted that such victory from the apex court provided that Yusuf's election was credible, hoping that he will rededicate himself to a selfless stewardship to the people of the state for maximum performance. The institute, while urging the governor to continue with infrastructure development in the state, prayed for him to initiate and execute more projects policies and programs that will move the state to greater heights. It also expressed appreciation for the professionalism exhibited by the Director General, Media and Publicity to the Governor, Sanusi Tofa, who is also a member of the Institute during the court's proceedings, urging him to sustain the tempo in the discharge of his responsibilities. NIPR, however, appealed to the governor to devise means of ensuring the registration of spokespersons across all ministries, departments, and agencies with the institute so as to make them certified public relations practitioners. That's all on Lena TV News today. Do well to follow us on all social media platforms at Lena TV 247. 
you can also visit our website on www.linatv.com.ng or you can contact the director news on 08035836019. Do have a pleasant day.